Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrid. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be unveiling the snake that I picked up from Tom Stevens. I visited him at his house. He lives a, not too far from me. I visit him quite often. One of the best Cal King breeders in the business. I got a special snake from him that I'm going to show you, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna unveil right now, right in front, front of your very eyes. Take off the strings. Make sure I tied this really good. Make sure he didn't get out. So let's see what it is. Some paper towel, nice little cushion for the ride home. And one shot. This is a hyper mill. California king snake. Now in a little bit I'm gonna take him outside and let you see him a little bit better. It's a rainy day, the, the rain went away, but it's not really too sunny out, but I'm gonna try and give you a better view of what he looks like. He's a really dark hyper mill, and that's what I like. I'm gonna try and produce some beautiful lab snows with the Tom Stevens stock, and I wanted a dark hyper mill. I also like the banded hyper mill. He does have bands, which I'm going to show you, but they're very faint. So I'm probably going to wind up picking up another one from Tom Stevens' 2021 babies that are still in the eggs. Nice banded hyper mill. Have two of them. Alright guys, so this is a hyper mill and I'm trying to make lab snow so I'm going to have to mix it with a lavender albino and I have a lavender albino from Tom Stevens stock but uh, I'm actually breeding that girl with another male that I have so I'm going to be getting one more lavender albino, a real nice one from Tom Stevens try and make some killer killer lab snows because Tom Stevens Lab snows are something of legend. Now, if you look closely, if I can try and show you the face, how dark this one really is. Now, you can see there his face is really dark. And look at the eyes, just beautiful. Nice. Now, you can see the nice faint bands along his sides. And the top is pure, pure black. It's almost got a little chocolatey look to it in person but it looks almost black. But look at those bands, really, really faint. Now, these come in all different types. You know, you can get ones with white bands and a, a, light, a lighter color with nice colored bands. And this one's just really dark. Look at the belly. So I got his bin set up inside. I'm gonna go bring him in, let him relax. And that's gonna be his bin for a little while. I know he doesn't have any mites or any illnesses. He's been in Tom Stevens' hands for a while now. Uh, well, he's, a, he's almost a year old. It's a big baby, actually. I thought it was a 2019, but it's actually a 2020. He's a 2020. And let's go put him in his bin. And uh, I got it all set up beautifully for him. So I'm really happy with this um, addition to the collection 
And you know what? This snake is really, really calm. Um, so that's a real plus for a California king snake. And I have a couple of others from Tom Stevens that aren't as calm as this one. All right, guys. So I just put him in his bin, and I'm really, really excited. Um, I got my hyper mill from Tom Stevens. You know, I have a pair of albino head hyper mills that I got last year from Tom Stevens. So I plan to produce some of my own. But I just said, you know what? This is gonna put me ahead of the game, maybe a year or maybe two by buying this snake. So I just fell in love with the snake. And you know what? When I was holding him, I was looking at the color. It has like a blackish color, but with a little cream that was poured into it, giving it like a chocolatey look. And the bands just remind me of when I pour cream and coffee. So I was looking at him and coffee came into my head. And I never usually name snakes right away. I don't, I'm not good at it. But coffee just clicked right in my head. So I named him coffee. I'm excited about that. Cause you know, coffee is my favorite drink. So now I have my coffee, hyper mill, banded kink snake from Tom Stevens. So with that, we're going to leave this video on a great note. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be safe. And I'll see you guys next time.